<laughs> so I told him, I was like, you know, I'll trust you and you can be my best friend as long as you promise to delete my internet history after I die. So I guess we'll just have to see how that goes. Hello, welcome back to the channel. So the last few videos I put out was the living room renovation series and they're long videos. So I felt like I needed to get you a quickie. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna teach you how to build a garden gnome today. Something for your yard, something for inside. It's fall, it's gonna be a good decoration. Check it out, we'll see how it goes. When using construction lumber, always cut up the ends so that they're nice and straight. The first cut you're gonna need is a three inches. For this project, I'm using a two by eight. You can actually build two of these gnomes from one board, which is nice. Next for the main body, measure 20 inches like that and make your cut. After each cut, be sure to place them nicely and in line on your work surface. So for the third cut is going to be between 11 and 13 inches, so we'll call it 12. Now find the center of the board on the first piece you cut and we're gonna draw two curves. These are for the feet. Next we're gonna move to that 12 inch piece. Draw two curves, find the center. This is gonna be the brim of the hat. I think the spacing is about an inch and a quarter. And now we have the 20 inch piece. Measure up nine inches from the bottom and make a straight line across. And you know what's good about this kind of project is make it your own. Like I just drew the hat in any way. You can, every, you can make a few of these and make them all different, which is great. Okay, so we got the feet. This is gonna be the brim of the hat. And then this was basically gonna be the body that goes into the hat. So let's start cutting. Now, of course, I'm using a jigsaw for these cuts, which is the easiest, I believe. And you can pick one of these up, either used or corded one at a store, pretty cheap. However, if you're feeling energetic, you can use a handsaw, a coping saw, or I guess even an X-Acto knife if you have the time. Don't throw away this piece because you can actually get two more from this. Okay, so we got our three pieces cut out, sanded down, they're ready to go. Let me show you how this assembles. This is the feet, the body and the hat. That gets attached to the feet like that. And then this is gonna be the brim of the hat. That's gonna go you know, somewhere around there. Now from here, all you gotta do, if you want, you paint your nose, you paint your beard, paint your hat, you're done. That's all you gotta do. But I'm gonna show you one step further if you wanna take it. I have some scrap 1 8 inch plywood. I'm going to use it to cut out a beard and attach it here, and then also attach a nose here. It's just gonna give it a little bit more depth. I think it kind of pushes it over the edge to make it, you know, just a really nice decoration. Again, it's just a one by eight. You could be done, or you can add a little bit more. I'm gonna show you a little bit more right now. Did you subscribe yet?
I mean, you're still here. You must like the video a little bit, right? I got more stuff coming out. Go ahead. Click it. Go ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait. You all set? Good? Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, if you're going to add a beard like this, you need to get that top curve just right to fit underneath the brim of the hat. So you'll just place it underneath the brim, trace the outline, and then just simply cut away the rest. Now for the paint, just customize it however you'd like. Have fun with it. Adding a few custom touches here. The look I'm going for is a bit rustic. So the first coat I use is actually black. Once that dries, I put on the orange, and then once that dries, you sand it away the orange a little bit, and it reveals that black underneath. And that's the garden gnome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to make it a little shorter for you. I know the last ones are a little long, but um, like, subscribe, click the bells, notifications, get all that stuff. The channel's growing, slowly but steady. I really appreciate all of you. Um, what else did I wanna, oh, if you, the materials that I got, basically the two by eight, if you're wondering where I got it from, I got it from um, Gnome Depot, so. Sorry.